right, all right. What's going on, everybody? DB4 here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to some more Realms of Magic. We are here for yet another glorious episode. Let's get it. Man, Realms of Magic is super dope. And we're currently in full release version 1.7. The devs put out another small patch, I think, earlier today. That's pretty dope. And today is actually August 1st. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Realms of Magic is actually an uh, amazing 2D sandbox open world RPG game. It's real old school. And as you can see with the background, it's a 2D old school style game. Now, if you're interested in playing this game, you can check the description box below. You can find information about the game the steam links and the website and things like that as well as the discord you can also find my discord link and my social media information in the description box below now with all that being said i appreciate you all for being here now let's get down to some gameplay let's continue right where we left off well technically we're not going to be right where we left off because i did do some things off camera to save some time because i'm super excited to get to this new region if you guys seen the last episode we completed the final quest of this region and as you can see we got all the pieces to the woodbury guard set so if you complete the woodbury storyline you'll end up with all the pieces to the woodbury set we actually found all the pieces to the hunter set and if we check our character real quick we have all the pieces to the Jester set. Now, we do have, we did put on the novice shoulder pads because they were our strongest mage shoulder pads. And we did put on the novice robe. But if you check our chest, we also have the complete Jester set. Dope. But we're going to max out on power right now just because we're going into a brand new region. So this is our strongest gear to date. We have so i did a lot of organizing off camera let's close these doors from the ring <clears throat> excuse me one of the main things i did was sort out the inventory as you can see our bag is nice and organized now we can actually put away some apples i did do an apple run and go on an apple harvest all around our regions that we cleared out as well as our little apple orchid that we were setting up we actually got super lucky with two apple seeds and you know apple seeds are rare so i was happy about that and I did some organizing around base. I actually set up all of these NPCs in certain locations for now until I build them some houses. They're stuck out in the rain for now. And I also went to our farm area and I harvested up all of the jute. Now, if you check our jute sack over here, we have hundreds upon hundreds of jute. And I managed to actually level up from harvesting all that jute. We got a little bit of levels. So we're level eight now. So we're gonna spill we're gonna spend that skill point in a minute. But what I wanna do before we get moving on to the next region, I can show y'all guys that on the map. We unlock Splinterville's region, as you can see. And we got a bunch of quests to go do. But first we gotta go speak to a guy in Splinterville itself. That's our quest at the moment. That's the main storyline. And if you can I wanna show you guys something else. I also explained during a live stream, and I think I briefly explained the last episode, that if you avoid the storyline, there's still a way to unlock that section of the map, Splinterville. You actually have to use map fragments. And you could just explore the sandbox locations. <clears throat> if you open up enough chest, you will eventually come across enough map fragments. So you don't have to do any questing. You can just do exploration, and you'll get these map fragments. And I will actually craft up a map of Splinterville just to show you guys how that worked. We can actually handcraft that. We can actually press H and go to our maps. And now you can see we got the map of Splinterville. These are all the maps of all the um, regions, but that's kind of spoilers. We can actually craft the map of Splinterville now. We're going to craft it because, you know, we're just probably going to sell it later on. Or just have it for story purposes. We also have scrolls of knowledge we can start crafting. It's an 8 and 2 ratio to give you one talent point. We're going to start doing that in a minute. Let's see, let's check our scrolls of knowledge. Oh, we can actually get two extra talent points. So I guess if you do enough questing in this area, you'll get you'll come out with two extra talent points. That's super dope. Let's put away this map of Splinterville real quick. Let's check just check our food situation. Oh, nope. Let's eat some app some peasant stew while we continue explaining things. Now, 
given the levels we got, we want to get a little bit stronger. Now, we're, we're quite a ways from the next level of crafting on the bench. If we check our show unlearned, we're quite a ways from the next thing we can learn, which is going to be the apprentice set. But I still want to get there. And we can also go along. We're going to run into the linen stuff first. But in order to get linen, we need flax. We need flax. Now, we could go up to Splinterville real quick and get flax, and we are going to do that. But what I want to do is I want to craft up some stuff, get some actual some actual tailoring levels up. Then I'm going to sell everything I craft, and then I'm going to buy some flax, and then we're going to go harvest some flax because these guys, their inventory reset every day you know what before we even craft anything let's purchase all of the inventory from these guys i set up our farmers over here because they fixed the inventory problem so let's purchase this flax 10 yep it's going to be kind of expensive 10 silver per stack well a half a stack but we're going to do it it's worth it we're going to need all the flax and it'll save us some time and we'll give these guys a chance to reset their flax we should buy apples too and grapes I mean in peas but apples are expensive and we do have an apple farm we don't have a flax farm yet so oh no this is the guy we just traded with so we'll purchase these guys flax for now we could purchase the jute too but we have a huge jute farm he doesn't have flax yet he doesn't have an inventory yet so all right now that we have a little bit of flax we might be able to get the apprentice hood if we can get enough um experience first things first Let's craft up all the jute. Let's go to our table. We're going to craft up. I think we're going to. Well, we got 600 jute. We're going to do some rope first. Because I don't want to forget to do the rope. We're going to do. You know what? We're going to have to type this in. We're going to do 100. 100 rope. Let's see how far we get with that. It's a one to one ratio. But let's see how far we get. We could actually pop the crafting potion and do this way faster, too. Now that I think about it, we should have done that. Did we purchase the crafting potions yet? I don't think we did. Let's check our backpack. Um, wood cutting elixir. No, I don't think we have the crafting ones on us. But we want to do 100 at a time and see how far we get with that. Because 100 rope and 100 jute should give us a pretty decent amount of burlap robes that we're going to sell I'm going to see if I have a crafting potion to speed this up a little bit and we might as well use them that's what we purchased them for let's go check our potion sack real quick it stopped raining too alright fellas you can stop complaining it's not raining anymore alright let's see what was this oh we bought the mining potion it, can we craft the crafting potion let's see Potion of crafting. No, we don't even have it. We, we're not going to have it. Of course we're not. We didn't even get through these tears yet. We can craft a bunch more mining elixirs and wood cutting to go up some levels. But nah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. And we only have one primal heart. So whatever. We'll just go with the normal crafting. Now let's get some burlap cloth. I know we have about 80, but I'm going to... I guess I'll go with 20 something for now or about 30 because I know we have about we have a bunch of cloth laying around I don't think we need jute for anything but burlap cloth and burlap rope but I'll save some just in case I don't want to craft every single piece and we're getting up there and weaving too as you can see all right now we have a bunch of cloth and rope let's craft a bunch of different apprentice I mean burlap robes now bro the reason why i'm going with burlap robes opposed to let's see shoulder pads actually you know what hmm how much experience we get oh no we don't get a lot for that what about this we get 660 but it's going to cost us 12 feathers 5 and 10 and with this we get 400 and it's going to cost us 5 and 3 so it's less, but we get more experience. So this is probably the best thing you can craft early game for just normal tailoring experience. So we're going to craft all. We're going to get 26, what's the name? I mean, robes. Let's see what we get out of that. Oh, this is going to take some time, too. Each robe is going to take some time. 
actually like the fact that crafting time is an actual mechanic and stat in the game. You know, and the better you, and as you can see, the better we get at crafting, that crafting time just went down. It was four seconds per robe. Now it's 3.73 seconds. I love that. And, you know, it makes the crafting potions worth it. It makes, like, small things like that make RPGs worth playing. Like, this could have just been a crafting grind, but there's little mechanics in it, like each item having a own its own level of experience and things like that. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. We can already craft linen shoes, but I don't want to waste linen on the shoes, even though that would fast track our experience. But we don't have linen to waste at the moment, and we didn't purchase any seeds from the farmers, so. We'll get flax immediately after we leave, but for now, we're going to stick with this. Let's see. We can't select anything while we're crafting. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to get to level 16. We could get to 20. We, we we have enough jute to get to 20. We probably definitely have just enough jute to get to 20 if we think about it. Because we're, we're firing through these levels. When it comes to each robe is giving us a decent amount of XP. Alright, so we're going to get to 17 total. So that brought us from like 12 to 17. So we got 5 levels out of 20 robes. This stuff shouldn't be too expensive. Let's see. Oh, three, two. So if we craft this entire set and get the oh first time crafting bonus, we might have to do this linen line. That'll put us at twenty, and then we'll yeah yeah we will we'll harvest the rest of the the linen a different way. For now, let's just create some linen. Let's do linen cloth. It's one to one too. Rope. I think we'll start with five and five. I just, I really want that apprentice hood. The apprentice hood shouldn't be that expensive, but we'll check. All right, let's start with that and see how expensive this stuff ends up, it's gonna end up being. Start with the shoes three and two pretty expensive so that's five it's in itself same thing three and two all right so we're gonna need five per piece i guess yep we already at the shoulder pad so we need five ten fifteen fifteen more yeah we should do it like this it'll be worth it let's just craft up all the flax now i mean yeah we're gonna need fifteen Wait, three, six, nine, twelve, and two, four, six, eight. We don't have enough. We don't have enough, but we'll try to get. We'll do six of these, and four of the other. We'll get two more pieces like that, and we'll go. We'll go try to buy some flax after we sell. We're gonna sell a bunch of stuff at Woodbury too. We should probably go to the new town, but I don't want to spoil the town with a merchant run. So we'll try to purchase flax from the normal, the guy in Woodbury. All right, let's craft up these linen gloves. And we could sell this stuff too, man. I'm not against that. Linen hat. Shoulder pads. We're going to need one more cloth. Well, yeah, we'll need one more cloth for this. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. I know I'm being real stingy with our materials, but we don't have a lot. And I'm trying to be real efficient. I might be able to squeeze out this hat if I'm smart about it. So we're going to need five and one for that. And the hat should be the next thing in line, actually. Oh no, the tunic. So the tunic is a, is a six and three. All right, if we craft all of this stuff, we should be where we need to be. How many pieces of uh, linen do we have left? Let's go with two and two. It's not gonna get us where we need to be, but it, it'll get us close. 
And we're going to do a quick juke run. We're not going to stay in the region for too long. We can defend ourselves well enough, but, you know, we need a lot more juke. All right, let's, let's map up real quick. And let's just sneak into the region to get juked only. <laughs> We're going to be so scared about it. We're going to go to the very bottom of the region. Oh, I like that. That's a new loading screen. Super dope. All right. And we got the we got the nighttime advantage. The wolves are going to be dangerous, but we still have the nighttime advantage. We got our rabbits ready. Oh, man, new trees. Hold on. We got to get new trees. Oh, it's taking forever. Oh, yeah, we're not going to chop too much of that. Uh, that takes a while. Oh, Lord. Did you see that? Giant boar. Oh, he's about to kill us. We're not ready. He's not even attacking my, my animals. Oh, no. We need mana potions. Rabbits, go. Rabbits, go. Yo, he are killing them in one shot. All right. Two more mana potions. We need to spam skeletons now. It's the way he attacks, too, that makes him deadly. Yo, he killed all of my skeletons, and he hardly took no damage. Oh, he killed skeletons in one hit. All right, I got to pop potions now. If they can get a hit off on them. Nah, man, we're not ready for this region yet. Let's load. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. We got to... We gotta play it smart with this guy. We're gonna we're gonna take him out. We gotta we gotta play it smart though. First of all, we can't allow this guy to run back and forth like that. That's not gonna work out in our favor. Anyway, you slice. He should still be around here. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually build a trap for this guy. When he comes running this way, he's gonna get trapped. What he's going to do is, I'm going to make a simple little death trap for this guy that he's going to run right into. Now, this may be cheesy, but I call it strategy. Let's make a little mini platform that we can probably jump onto. And actually, we can drop this down some. Because he shouldn't be able to jump out of a three blocker. I could, but he can't. Let's make a little pitfall for this guy. All right. Now, Mr. Boar. Now, what do you got? Oh, man. That hurt. That hurt. This way, rabbits. Yeah, get him to come this way. Yeah, come in here. There you go. There you go. Now, rabbits for days. Man, he's destroying. Oh, no. Now that they got him in the close quarters, they can actually attack him. There you go, rabbits. There we go. Boar trap. Yeah, we have to set a trap for these boars. Yes, our rabbits are, are, they are deadly. It's just that trying to chase the boars, like, man, it's a nightmare. 
We're just here for a little bit of flax. I, I, I mean, seriously, one flax patch and we're gone. Mind you, this is the very first region of Splinterville. Oh, we can handle wolves. We can handle wolves. Yeah, we're not that far north, so there's still going to be tier one stuff here. Come on, rabbits. This is an undead wolf. You guys don't struggle with wolves. There we go. We could do some pelt crafting, too. We'll probably chop down a few more. Flax, yes. Oh, man, seven flax seeds. No, one flax seed. Oh, man, we we could do we could do with more flax seed. Oh, shit, boar. Flax, flax, we might have to bail. We might have to make this a bail and run. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make this a... Oh, shit, flax, 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 flax. Yeah, we're going to have to bail. We can't beat these dudes. But what we can do is get around them. Flax run. <laughs> Hold on. It's, it's, it's monsters. You don't want to chase me. Oh, man. Woo. Get off me. Oh, we got those other seeds. Got them. Got them. Oh, boar. Boar. Oh, no, no. Bring the boar to these dudes. Yes. Make them fight the boar. Yes. Y'all don't. Y'all want to fight a boar? Let's go. Want to fight a boar, bro? Oh, the boar's not going to attack him? That is trash. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm about to map out. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Last flax patch. Last flax patch. I promise. We're gone. We're gone. We don't want anything to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't travel. No. Oh, rabbits, save me. Um, if I die, I'm dying with flax. What was that? That looked at entry. Oh, no, this boards are not going to stop. Oh, more seeds. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, load the auto save, man, man. All right, cool. Um, where are we? Where are we? Let's see. Backpack. How much flax? Oh, we at the first flax patch. Nah, we can't do that. We're not bailing after the first flax patch. No, we need to keep moving. We could kill these boys and these dudes if we just concentrate. All right, we need to pop stamina potions and stuff and make sure we're picking up the flax, actually. Oh, and not pressing R by accident. All right, if we, if we distract these, these, these mobs with animals and keep moving, we should lose, they should lose track of us. Like, we'll distract them with animals. You know what? Backpack, 25 flax. Could we be, should we be greedy? Nope, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No, fight these dudes, not me. We're going. Yeah, that's what we got to do. We got to distract them with our mobs. Nope. And then run. Run far. Far, 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 far. All right, this is the last boar. We're, then we're out. We got. We need these onions. No, run. Don't don't look at me, boar. What the What you want with me for? All right, last flax patch, and then we're, we're porting. Oh, shit, he followed. No. All right, we need stamps. We need stamps. But there's flax. All right, we want to run back the other way, actually. We want to run back the other way. Can we map now? Travel. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, we got out of that. Okay, okay, okay. We had to bail. I know we had to bail. I know, I know, I know. Now we can safely map home. I'm telling you, those regions are fierce. Man, we're going to have to go do some questing and do some more leveling up. But I at least wanted to get a decent hood before I went back. Did they did they reset their trades? Yes, he got more flax for me. Look, I, I went on a death run. <laughs> I just went on a death run for nothing. Yo, that was hilarious. Oh, this guy still doesn't have a... Uh, flax did you reset your flax yes you did my man my man litnik 
All right, we got we we flaxed up now. We can definitely get our flax on. All right, let's craft up. Uh, we 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 went hard for this flax, man. Um, give me twenty pieces of this. Thank you. We're gonna need it. Oh man, that was a crazy crazy death run. All right, now let's go with uh, the rope. We want to be at Woolen soon. 20 rope. And we got enough flax seed to not really have to go through that again. If we just plant some flax, we should be pretty good until we get to wool. Man, we just went on a, a death flax run. Died, what, three times? There goes my Iron Man run. I could have, I could Iron Man that easily, you know, with with traps and more patience. But you know, we're trying to get to the good stuff, like apprentice hoods and stuff. All right, now, now is the tunic the most cost-effective thing? Tunic's giving a fifteen hundred. Six for three, uh, and this is a five three right oh nah An extra cloth you get you 500 now this is a three two oh no no tunics are the best all right tunics rule we'll put one of these away and we'll save the next one yes we finally get the apprentice hood. yo we might end up with the whole apprentice set oh we need wolf things and more linen cloth oh let's go get the wolf things Oh, that is super dope. Uh, we got wolf things right here. All right, let's go bag. Uh, this bag. Yo, we are cluttered on stuff. We'll sell. Can we sell these guys stuff? I bet we could. Oh, we need more cloth. I should have just cracked that level, but I'm going to build some more rope. We almost out of rope already. We almost out of flax already. All right, apprentice set. Let's go. Starting with the hood. Oh, we almost get a whole level for that. We don't got a lot of wolf things. See, now I want to go farm wolves. All right, let's see what's over here. Um, we're gonna need more wolf things for that. Are uh, we back to? Tunics. No, tunics is gonna want to waste all of our cloth. Oh, we need a nature's room for that. Oh man, how do you get a nature room? All right, we need six cloth for the hood, and we're gonna need six for the tunics. So we're gonna need a total of twelve. And how many? How many cloth? How many cloth we're gonna need? How many rope? I mean for the shoulder pads three we got more than enough rope we've been crafting too much rope that's the problem let's just craft all of this rest all the rest of this into linen cloth we got like 18 rope this should give us enough flax i mean linen to craft all of the set even though we don't have the nature room yet we can probably buy it as soon as we get to uh to splinterville if we could we'll definitely do it all right, now let's get our final piece to the puzzle. Well, it's not the final piece, but you know. You know what I mean. First, let's craft up a tunic. Hold on, we can't get these levels from... From burlap... Robes? They really don't give enough? Oh, we don't have any more burlap. Oh, wow. But duh. Let's, let's fix that. Let's fix that, because I don't want to waste... Yeah, let's cl let's fix that problem. We got tons of burlap. There's no reason to not do it. We craft jute at a half a second now. Now let's try and 
get tunics, burlap robes. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we shouldn't have just bought all of them tunics. Oh, wh which one? Oh, 24. Okay, so we do got to go a little more. Let's see. How many, how many, how many is Max Robes going to get us? Max Robes gets us far, so let's do it. We'll just sell them anyway. I'd rather waste the jute than the, the what's the name? The one tunic might be worth crafting just for 1500 A pop. But three clo three robes, which is fairly cheap at this at this stage. Three robes are more cost effective when it comes to no, it's only twelve hundred. Man, nah, I was wrong. I was mistaking it for something else. It's still not gonna be enough though. It's a huge chunk, but it's not worth it. We'll go back to burlap. Back to jute. Man, this turned into an entire crafting episode. And trust me, I did a lot of stuff off camera to make... So I wouldn't have to do a lot of grinding, but the crafting is a grind. Let's just go until we crack that level. Let's craft some more rope. We're going to need it. And I think this is going to be our main way to farm Tail of an XP for now Because we have a whole mega jute farm And jute is super easy And we're going to get more jute when we start farming for um. Oh wait, what do we use for this? Chicken feathers, it's not worth When we start farming for Obviously, we gotta hunt wolves now, so we're gonna do a lot more clearing of these locations to get wolf things. So look, look forward to that. Oh, oh man, so close, so close, so close. And we're almost down to like three seconds of craft, less than, less than two seconds. So close. All right, this should be the last batch. We should have enough rope. We've been doubling up on rope. All right, this should get us all the way close to 24 actually yeah close to 25 man we got so many burlap robes i wonder if how much money we're going to get for selling all this stuff i'm a burlap salesman that's what that's what this playthrough has become the the tale of the burlap merchant all right let's go i know we can get this this piece now yes we get the shoulder pads these are better than the jester shoulder pads by far, let's go. Now we're gonna have to wait to get this nature's room. And we can't even, we're gonna need another tailoring level, so more burlap. But we're gonna do that in the future. For now, we're gonna equip our hood, yes. We're gonna put away our jester items. Thanks for that quick, quick save too. Put away the jester items and where is the last item? Probably all the way over here somewhere. Yep, and we'll put these over here. Yeah, I actually want to keep this apprentice set. Where is it? Oh, we didn't we didn't take off the apprentice set. Duh. All right, now let's put away the linen set. Stow the linen set up here. We're gonna hold on to one of all the things we craft for the time being. We have the space, so it's not a big deal. It's not taking up a ton of space. We'll put a tunic, the pants, and we're missing an item. Did we not do linen shoulder pads? I doubt it. We definitely did linen shoulder pads. Oh, there they go. All right, we got the linen set. Give me all of this burlap. No, no, we need a burl. We need to keep a burlap robe up here. All right, cool. Now let's see. The guy that doesn't have any inventory, can you buy stuff, my good man? Are you willing to purchase? 
And is there a limit to what I can sell you? Because if not, you're going to be our rich farmer. We're going to sell you... Well, we're not even going to get our jute money back, it's looking like. Are these getting cheaper? No, they're not. They're only worth a silver. Alright. Earl, you're going to be our burlap guy for now. Hold on to the stuff in. These are worth... Oh, wow. Those are worth a decent amount. He's not getting any good offer. I'm pretty sure... Maybe there's a better NPC to sell this stuff to, but we're not going to go through all of that now. We're just going to try to get our inventory cleared up. All right. We'll put some stuff away, and then we're good. We can move on with the next phase. Actually getting into some questing. Um... We can stack some stuff. Well, for now, we'll just dump all the seeds in here. We know where this stuff goes, and we got a place for that. All right, cool. We got tons of more ingredients, too. Yo, we can have a cook-off, too, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to wait to a future episode to do that. Just cook a bunch of stuff. I hate when I do that. All right, put away this cloth. And then we're out. We're going to the new region. At least we got stronger, man. We and, and as you can see, we definitely needed it. It was like I clearly just showed why wow, this was worth it sitting here crafting all of this stuff because if we had it, we wouldn't stand a chance in that region really. We could do a lot of cheesy tactics and st oh, that was weird. We could do a lot of cheesy tactics, but I don't really want to do that. I want to actually be strong enough to face these monsters. And speaking of that, let's do some leveling up where we're at it. Let's go into necromancy real quick. And what can we do over here? Um, now, we can't do anything with our necromancy talents instead of buy other stuff. But I don't want to purchase moves that's going to, you know, disturb our mana. So this is requ he requires this requires level ten, this requires level ten, this requires level ten. I think if we do these two next level, it'll be worth it. We'll get a we'll get a stronger war skeleton warrior. So we'll save this talent point. Actually, if we want to get spicy. If we want to get Grim Wind is a hail ability. We'll get this stuff later when we get a little bit stronger with Necromancy. We don't battle up close now. If we want to get spicy, we can purchase all of these skills by just using, by crafting a talent point. We'll think about that. We'll consider that. We might get all of the skills. We'll craft up a talent point and we'll go with all three of them. But for now, let's head on to the next town. Let's close these doors. I don't want these guys in our place. Finally, we can get on with part of this quest. I just want to do some scouting in this town for now. So let's travel. The main goal of this episode was to get stronger. I definitely wanted to get stronger. I definitely wanted to do some crafting. I did a lot of the harvesting off cam. And we did a preliminary run through one of the many smaller, less hostile regions. I think the forests are always more hostile. I come to find. Let's talk to the Jasper. They call me the Hawkeye. All right, Jasper. Great. Oh, we got to look for secrets too. Let's check. Let's see. Map. There's six secrets on this map. All right. We got to keep our eyes out. Is there any muck to be digged up? No muck. No muck. All right. Cool. Let's keep it moving. All right, Jasper, Hawkeye. I'll close the gate behind me. Are you a tree lover? Sagar. Well, wait, can you fall down here? Oh, if you accidentally press down, you're dead. Oh, no, this guy is dangerous. Oh, what is this? Dear Saga, oh, we're taking this. We take all forms of literature. Oh, Saga, thank you. We're going to take this as well. Thank you. Oh, the next tier crafting bench. Oaken workbench. Yeah, we can actually craft that. We, we did snatch up some oaken wood. And we just got even more. Thank you. 
copper ore. Let's go. Uh, let's talk to this guy real quick. Good day to you. Do you need anything? All right. Tell me something about this village, Saga. You're in Splinterville. And as the name suggests, we deal with wood here. King City is in great need of our trees. So we work our fingers to the bone to meet that demand. All right, Saga, I'm looking for work. All right. Ooh, I know that we need a tremendous amount of you wood. Ask Zarfron. Zarfron. He will tell you the details. All right, let's ask this Zarfron guy. All right, bye. Our guy, Saga. Gret. Gret the lumberjack. That's a bunch of lumberjacks here. What a day. You look pretty tired. Can I help somehow? Not really. I like woodwork. It doesn't exhaust me that much. What worries me is the fact that somebody stole the provisions I made for me and the rest of the lumberjacks. All right. So what now? Would you work hungry? Okay, any idea who might have done it? I have some guests, but I'll keep them to myself for now. What worry me is the lack of food and water. Other woodcutters won't like the news. Okay. Will you help me here? Okay, I know exactly what you want me to do. Okay, what exactly do you want me to do, actually? Eight, oh, ten cooked chickens and ten glass bottles of water. Could you do that? Absolutely. All right, I think that's possible. Just give me some time. I got a bunch of chicken, too. Ah, we got plenty of glass bottles and we got a bunch of chicken. We'll help this guy out for sure. For sure. You just wait right there. Gret will be back. Hold on. You can get on this roof. Hey. All right, let's talk to these people. Oh, wait. Loot first. Loot first. Loot first. Ask questions later. Wait, any loot up here? Yep, there's plenty of loot. What do you got for me? <gasps> jute. Take all. Look, I'm like a, some sort of jute fiend now. Oh, whoa. Is that a dead body over there? Oh, no. The plot thickens. <laughs> Splinterville is wild. All right, we got a carpenter, naturally. All of this lumberjacks around. All right, I only use the highest quality wood. Okay, these sets look amazing. You're very talented. Thank you, stranger. I always do my best, but sometimes it's not enough. Okay. What do you need? I got the feeling he needs help. Yeah. My apprentice, Jort. Oh, Jort is a hilarious name. Decided to abandon his work and seek fortune somewhere else. Or elsewhere. He left with all those orders on my own. Okay. What a lazy douchebag. Maybe I can help. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a job and have some time to spare, we can get down to work. Fine. What do you want me to do? First, I need to see if you know how to craft. Make me three trellis. You can use my workbench if you wish. See what you're made of. Okay. So he wants me to craft him some stuff to show him that I know how to craft. All right. Let me loot your stuff first. Then I'll think about it. All right. You almost gave me a full silver already. So we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, what's down here? Is there any secrets? We haven't found the secret yet. So let's just be a little more thorough and make sure we don't pass one by. Are you a tree lover? All right. Hold on. Saffron. I don't trust you. Is this a dead body up here? Why are you going to open the door, Zaf? You got something to hide? What's going on? Welcome, stranger. Are you looking for work? Okay. I am listening. The sus of demand for wood. We work two shifts to deliver it. I need you to bring me 50 you wood. Can you do it? Sure, I'll get the you wood for you. Wonderful. Meet me here when you're ready. Okay. Okay. Quest left and right. All right, we're going to not pretend like we don't see that guy. All right, Lydia, Callan's wife. What's going on, Lydia? Eyes swell from crying. Why are you crying, Lydia? My husband is dead. He is stiff and cold like some dead fish. They killed him. They butchered him in his house in cold blood. And without a moment of hesitation, he couldn't defend himself. I hate this place and these people. If only I knew who was involved. But, of course, stranger, you're an outsider. 
of this pathetic God's forsaken backwater. Well, okay. Backwater. Please find out who killed Kaylin. I hunger for justice. Oh, wow. So she's up here with her dead husband. And this guy is just down on the bottom trying to get me to do a quest for him. This is insane. All right, let's see. I'll see what I can do. Don't get angry. Don't let anger overwhelm you. Mourning as you should. I'll ask around. Someone must have seen something. All right. Find the killer. Let me mourn my husband my way. Come back when you find it the truth. Uh, hold on. This this lady seems very suspicious. First of all, I will be taking your jute and your other belongings, Miss Lydia. But you seem very suspicious. You remind me of another lady I know that lost a gown. You sure you didn't lose a gown somewhere? And that lost gown mysteriously happened to end up leading to your husband's death somehow? Are you sure? I'm sure poor Kaylin here would be able to tell us. You know I have skeletons, right? You know I can talk to the dead. I'm a necromancer. All right, anyway. I'll figure out what happened to your husband. I'll be back, ma'am. Wow, that was wild. Okay. Oh, great. We, we're part of the way completing a quest already. Good day to you. Well, good day to you, sir. And we'll take your loot as well. John the Lumberjack. Work, work. A fine day, isn't it? Perhaps, do you want anything? I like to earn some money. I'm not afraid of hard work. Go ask Zaffron. If he likes you, he might give you some tasks. <laughs> okay. That's all I can do for now. Can you tell me something about this place? Never say this name in my presence. Do you understand? Oh, no, hold on, wait. Let's just back out of that. Um, good, I don't want to talk about it. It's hard for me. Farewell, bye. Oh, that's about the guy. I don't want to start that quest yet. I don't want to start that quest line. I, I wanted to back out of that. But he did say don't mention that name to me and it's hard for him. I got to remember that. That's a clue. So this guy has a connection to the husband. Okay, great. Take all you. Bert. What up, Bert? Hold up, Bert. Hold on, Bert. Hold up, Bert. Back up. All right. Tell me about this place, Bert. You're in Splinterville, a typical lumberjack's village. There isn't much to talk about. Just stay out of trouble. All right, Bert. Good advice. I like Bert. Bert, see, Bert's a, Bert's a good guy. Oh, wait, Bert, Bert, Bert. We will not be staying out of trouble, Bert. We will be digging up all the muck to get... Oh, come on. I hate when they do this. They do this all the time. It's so hard sometimes to just walk into a one gapper sometimes yes coal and what was this the gods we saw part one all right part one of a book first great oh let's run down here real quick and see what these guys are doing oh he has almost every tannin station in the game that is dope i like how they do this too it like Obsidian tanning station. It like shows you the tears by looking at the, the the master workers. That that's pretty dope. It's like a super teaser. Like you get to see the tears of tanning racks you go down, and I guess these are all, yep, leather working table, imperial, oaken. Yep, super dope, super dope. I like that a lot. Ooh, take all free fur. What do you got to say, Maury? The smell of leather makes me calm. How can I help with your work, Maury? There isn't much to be done today. Let me do the skinning and you'll do the hunting. All right, what do you want me to get? For now, I need you to get 10 giant rat pelts and I'll roll you with coins. Interested? Sure, I'm on it. Bloody great. You know where to find me. I'll be slicing flesh all day long. All right, can you tell me something? No, no, not the Kaylin thing. Why do you ask about him? He was a schmuck. So you know that he died. Why did you call him that? I do. I guess everyone is aware of that fact. I hated Kalen. For what he did in the past, I firmly believe that he stole my finest lever to exchange it for booze at the end. <laughs> I haven't seen him taking it. 
Uh, I haven't seen him take it, but that's the only person I distrust in the whole Splinterville. Besides, that lazy bastard never did any work as far as I'm concerned. Okay, goodbye, Moray. Well, so, Kalen was a lazy schmuck. Hmm. And he wasn't really liked by the townsfolk so far. Somebody said, don't mention his name. And somebody else just said, he just stole from them oh we're going down baby let's go you know what we should just go get that guy's rat pelts we have them and we also have the chicken and water so i think we can actually start completing quest actually in no time but we'll we'll finish scooping up the quest we'll make it to the end of the village what's this yo Scroll of armor, increase armor by 10. Thank you. Even though I probably could have sold that, but no. You know why I want to do that? That makes it so when I put on weird armor just for the lore, I don't lose out on armor points. Because I just got 10 free armor. Let's just loot this real quick. Take all. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. All right, all right, all right. You know what? I think this is going to be the perfect time to end this episode here. I don't want it to go too far overboard. I don't want it to be too long. But this is the perfect time to end the episode. We finally made it to Splinterville. We did a little bit of exploring. We did a little bit of crafting. Well, a lot of crafting. And we did a little bit of gathering, running for our life. And we got a bunch of quests. If we check our journal, we already picked up a bunch of quests. And we have yet to even meet Bernard. So I like the way they placed the quest in these maps. As you can see, they're kind of similar. And I kind of like that. You know, your first one of your first major conflicts is with another wife. You know, you come through here, it's a bunch of lumberjacks. It's going to be a huge, interesting story they're going to tell, I bet. Oh, we missed that. Interesting. Yeah, it's going to be dope. We, we're interested. We're going to find out what's going on here in Splinterville. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to complete all of these quests. Then we're going to search this region, do a lot of exploring. Then we're going to pick a main place to start building a more of a big house. A house about this size, actually. Probably a little bit bigger and a little bit taller, but... Pretty much something similar to this with the basement and everything. We're going to do something like that in the next few live streams. But we're going to pick a location first after we do some exploring. But that being said, I think we're going to cap the episode off here. Man, 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 I hate, I hate ending these episodes. I always want to play for longer. But without further ado, make sure you guys check the description box below if you want to play this game. There's going to be information about the game down there. As well as my social media links. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Without further ado, it's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.